Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian, and I am the Horror Show host. And today I am take I am I am taking a look at two trailers for werewolf movies coming out, hopefully this year. One is The Wolf of Snow Hollow, and the other, A Werewolf in England. So. I'm really excited to check both these flicks out. One is going to theaters. The other is going straight to video and DVD, well, DVD, probably Blu-ray. Uh, and I thought I'd get this video out to you guys because I've been so busy with Shocktober and I'm way behind, so I'm really going to try to get it done in time for each day. But let's not dwell on that. Let's get into the trailers. So let's go to MoFo full screen, and here we go. Now. We have every reason to believe that this monster will show up again tonight. Nice. Wolfie. Oh, they got a suit for this one. Ooh, I like that music. I've been in the program now for six years. It's over for three. This is scary. It's new. Is that Robert Forrester? There's going to be a lot of late nights and overtime because of the brutal murder that happened in town. And I didn't want to set up expectations that I can't keep. Our expectations of you are very low. Spans the bites are gigantic. Same as the distance of the paw prints. It's a wolf. Or maybe it's the werewolf. No, let me just make this perfectly clear. There is no such thing as werewolves. Our killer is a guy, and I'm gonna find him, and I'm gonna kill... And we're gonna bring him to justice. We have every reason to believe that this monster will show up again tonight. I won't ask you to pray with me, because of the goddamn lawyers. <laughs> to me once, okay? They're saying it's a wolf. No, it's a man. When do I get to be right about something? <laughs> do your job! Do your job! I am begging you! Yep, Robert Forrester. You want to be sheriff? How about we start acting like one? So this has, for starters, production value. It's snowy. It's a small town in the middle of nowhere, probably Alaska if I'm gonna guess, or somewhere where there's a lot of snow. But there's enough to have space, too, where you can have a town that's not covered in snow. I'm just thinking of Into the Grizzly Maze and that kind of vibe it's giving off. Uh, it might not be Alaska, for all I know, but that song. Whew. That is a great song, and no wonder they kept it playing throughout the entire trailer. I mean, kind of messed with some of the audio, I think. Like, some scenes were quieter than others because they wanted to portray that song as being much louder than it should have been in certain scenes. But it's a dang good song, so why not? I also like the fact that it has Robert Forrester. Now, I'm assuming this is probably his last movie because he did a die very recently. I remember him from two films that I've seen him in. Uh, Alligator, which is one of my favorite Alligator movies, and Vigilante, which is a great Vigilante movie directed by William Lustig, who did a maniac, who did a maniac and a maniac cop and a whole bunch of other movies. But that's besides the point. They also have a practical werewolf suit. Dude, <laughs> I can't remember the last time we had a werewolf movie in theaters and they actually utilized a werewolf suit. And I'm talking like strictly werewolf because in The Wolfman, it was pretty much all CG and it was pretty much all practical, but they had some CG in there. I'm hoping they keep this all practical because that would be something. 
We have the technology to make great suits now, so why not? Uh, for example, low-budget films have great suits like Bone Hell Road. And even potentially the next movie I'm taking a look at the trailer for, A Werewolf in England, which is a low-budget feature. Uh, I heard it was directed by... No, I read it was directed by the guy who did uh, Escape from Cannibal Farm and The Barge People, which I still want to see. I've seen Escape from Cannibal Farm. Wasn't a huge fan of it, but I'm going to take a look at this one anyways because I'm a sucker for werewolf movies. So, for this one, let's go to Mofo Full Screen, and here we go... Down. Welcome to the Three Claws. Three claws. Storms prevented us traveling any further tonight. So it's the guy from uh, Skip from Kendall Farm. Twitter. Tomorrow he'll be sentenced to death. You don't it's kind of like the hateful eight. Do you like? There are. Ooh. Ooh. Never seen. Tall as men, strong as giants. Is that the same werewolf from Brown Hill Road? This thing stands at the very center. Of their feeding ground. Every black oh, we're a transformation. I'm we loving this cinematography. I saw with my own eyes those innkeepers dismembering your coachman. You're not allowed to do the same to us. You're going to die, counselor. What the hell is that? Well, the man who turned to beasts under the spell of the moon. Now, do you believe me? Run! Oh, they got multiple suits. <laughs> oh, they shoot him in the balls. How is she? Incredibly hairy. <laughs> oh. Inspired by dog soldiers, says a critic. That should be the tagline or one of the promotional things if it is inspired by dog soldiers. It kind of looks like dog soldiers if it was set in England it's town and uh, a long time ago because this is definitely taking place not in current time. I'm assuming like the 1800s or so. And that looks pretty good. It has some good gore, some cool werewolves. Which, like I said, it looked a lot like the werewolves from Bone Hill Road, but just more than one suit of the same model. Which is, that's one thing I love about Bone Hill Road, is not all the werewolves look the same. This has all the werewolves looking the same, which I'm kind of disappointed in. But, it is all practical. So, um... I'm reading some of the comments. Uh, it doesn't look too bad. It reminds me of the Hateful Eight mixed with, let's say, Bone Hill Road. Not really a dog soldier. I'm not really getting a dog soldier's vibe, which, just because it's set in England, doesn't mean it has a dog soldier's vibe. And, uh, yeah, I'm. Um, I'm still definitely going to check it out. One thing I'm not happy about is the UK DVD artwork. Uh, one reason why is because there's a movie that came out a couple years ago called Carnivore, Werewolf of London, and it had that same werewolf design. This is directed by Charlie Steeds, who, as I said, brought us Escape from Cannibal Farm, The Barge People. Uh, there's an upcoming one here. This is a trailer for Death Ranch, which looks pretty cool. From what I've seen from the thumbnail, it looks like a, a black guy in a barn. I don't know, but this guy, he does direct films that look great, but they just, they don't work sometimes. Like, Escape from Cannibal Farm, it was cool in one scene, and then the rest of it is just uh, trying to discuss their options for survival and bartering with the killers. So, like, what is that? But regardless, I'm definitely going to check out both films. I'm really going to be happy to watch both of them. And just because we're getting werewolf movies again. So, yeah, that's going to do it for this video, guys. 
Thank you all for watching, and I am Brian Gatto, the horror show host. Make sure to like, comment on, as well as share this video. Like my Facebook fan page, and support me on Patreon, where even a dollar a month will help keep this channel going on strong, and I'd greatly appreciate it. Plus, you'll get access to body counts and other music videos that you can get on YouTube because of copyright and age restriction. Also, hit that notification bell, and as always, subscribe.